If there's one thing humans do better than amassing a massive amount of money, it's spending massive amounts of money right now. The global network has reached $431 trillion and his wealth keeps increasing. We're going to need more and more expensive stuff to keep up with the demand and trust me, we're very good at making some absurdly expensive stuff. So on that note, we're going to be looking at some of the most expensive things. Money can buy most expensive private residence until a to 2.6 billion when you have enough money to take care of yourself in a small community for several lifetimes naturally one of the first luxurious items you procure is an unreasonably decked out, super expensive home at least. That's probably what Indian billionaire Mukesh Ambani was thinking when he built himself a 2.6 billion dollars mega skyscraper in India creating the most expensive home on the planet Earth found in the inner city of Mumbai, India until it stands at a massive 27 stories 568 feet high and currently houses only Mukesh Ambani and his family giving them so much space to live in that they probably go days without seeing each other. Built into the lower floors of the Intel is a multi-level car lot that can hold about 168 vehicles. But if you don't want to leave through the bottom naturally, you can always leave using one of the three helipads placed on the roof to and a spare I guess other amenities in the tower, like a two-story recreation center, a gym, a dance studio and a yoga studio probably has something to do with why this home is the most expensive private residence in the world. Most Expensive Yacht History Supreme $4.8 Billion as we all know if the richest of the rich aren't splurging on residential properties so they can live anywhere in the world. They're buying some of the largest, most luxurious yachts they can, so they can live anywhere on the water. The most expensive of these yachts is known as the History Supreme and is owned by billionaire Robert Quack. This yacht might not be the largest in the world coming in at a relatively small 100 feet compared to the runner-up most expensive yacht, the $1.5 billion 533 feet long. Although if I were to guess what makes this yacht so expensive, it's probably because it's made out of 10,000 kilograms of solid gold and platinum. Yeah, that might have something to do with it, the dining area, the rails, deck staircases and even the anchor is absolutely adorned with gold and platinum, the most expensive champagne taste of the diamonds. 2.7 million dollars If there's one thing that goes great with an incredibly expensive yacht, it's ridiculously expensive bottles of alcohol spilling on the deck of said yacht. And no drink is more fitting for a yacht party than a bottle of champagne. And as they say, go big or go home big in this case being a bottle of good, a demon or taste of the diamonds released back in 2013. This luxury drink has topped the list of most expensive champagne ever since. Every bottle is made from 100% Grand Cru grapes, it's produced in a small family owned vineyard. And oh yeah, there's also an 18 carat white gold tag with a single deep cut white diamond at its center, weighing at around 19 carats. Surprise surprise, it doesn't cost $2 million dollars just because it tastes great. Suffice to say, this is one bottle of champagne, you probably wouldn't want your guests to go home with most expensive painting Salvatore Mundi $450 million. I think we can all agree that if there's anything that makes a home luxurious, it's the furnishings. Sure you can have a gold plated sink, but nothing beats classic paintings, making you look classier than you already are. And what's classier than the most expensive painting in existence? The most expensive painting in the world, Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi is allegedly somewhere in Saudi Arabia hidden away by order of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. No one in the art world knows for sure where the painting is speculating that it might be stashed in the Middle East or stored in a tax-free zone in Geneva. There's also speculation that it might be on the prince's half a billion dollar yacht. As a fellow appreciator of luxury, I don't think there's a bigger flex than hanging of $450 million the Cullinan, $2 billion. Speaking of furnishings for your house, it's fair to admit that paintings and other similar furnishings are pretty ordinary almost expected. If there's one thing you can buy with a lot of money, it's the ability to be unpredictable. 
So if you want to star in your very own heist movie, why don't you decorate your house with the most expensive diamond in the world instead of the current most expensive diamond is known as the Cullinan. Not the legendary Cohen or are a splendid diamond whose worth has not yet been determined. Even though the Cullinan might potentially be the second most expensive diamond, good luck getting your hands on them though. The Cullinan was the largest gem quality rough diamond ever found, weighing 21.9 ounces or 3,106 carats. It was eventually cut into a collection of nine diamonds. The different pieces of the Cullinan are currently part of the British Crown Jewels, which might make it a little difficult to get them for yourself unless you're ready to assemble a team that is most expensive private jet Boeing BBJ 7778. Being incredibly rich means you not only have the choice to live in pretty much any country on earth, but you can also even live in the middle of the ocean if you want. And with the kind of decked out luxurious private jets on the market, you could live in the sky if you really put your mind to it. The most expensive of these private jets on the market is the Boeing BBJ 7778. Known for also being the longest range private jet available with a range of over 11,500 nautical miles. It features a spacious 3,256 square foot cabin that $410 million price tag didn't come from nowhere. After all, the interior of the jet is fully customizable and can include a range of interior spaces, including lounges, dining rooms, bedrooms and conference rooms. And if you're afraid this jet won't give you the full experience of living in the skies, just wait a few years to hovercraft that don't overheat or need refueling or invented. We'll be right here ready to make a list about it, most expensive bed, Baldacci, no supreme bed, 6.3 million dollars. So you have the most expensive mansion or a mansion sized boat. But can you really say you're living a life of true luxury? Of course not until you have the master bedroom in order, that is, and how else do you do that? But by buying yourself a Baldacci no supreme bed designed by Stuart Hughes getting this bed is equivalent of buying yourself a piece of fine art. It has an interior made of 24 karat gold and weighs over 90 kilograms. This is one bed you'd actively feel guilty for sleeping on like all good things. This bed comes in short supply, there are only two of them available in the world and one of them has already been purchased but that shouldn't stop you from having a bedroom that looks like an art exhibit. You could always get yourself a magnetic floating bed for 1.6 million dollars. That would be sure to impress any guest you bring over. I mean everything feels nicer when you're suspended in midair after all. Most expensive smartphone Falcon, Supernova, iPhone 6 Pink Diamond $48.5 million. Some incredibly wealthy people choose to keep their wealth on the down low, driving pretty regular vehicles, wearing plain clothes and buying a regular 300 feet yacht instead of something crazy. While others prefer to show it off with a bit of bling. And what better way to show off and picking up a phone call using the world's most expensive smartphone. The Falcon Supernova iPhone 6 Pink Diamond, that's right. The most expensive phone isn't some high-tech space age spy phone. It's an iPhone 6 that probably runs like crap in 2021, if Apple has anything to say about it. This customized model is covered in 24 karat gold and decorated with one massive pink diamond on its rear in case you thought there was some other reason an iPhone 6 would cost $48.5 million. Of course it does come with software upgrades. Not found in your everyday iPhone from 2014 but whipping, this phone won't be impressing anyone at the Genius Bar. Most expensive watch, Graph Diamonds, Hallucination $55 million. If there's one thing that never fails to impress, it is an incredibly beautiful designer watch plus you can wear it along with a grey shirt and blue jeans and everyone will still think you're down to earth. Well that is unless you're wearing the Graph Diamonds Hallucination. Trust me, this watch will get your hand chopped off if you're on the wrong side of town. The hallucination features 110 carats of differently colored diamonds in a range of different cuts, sat on top of a platinum bracelet. Basically this watch is shiny enough to stop traffic. This is about as far from a tactical watch as you can get. Believe me telling time on this thing will be a real challenge at high noon with the sun in your eye, it'll be even harder to figure out which part of this watch isn't diamond. If you're looking for something to use luxury, trust me, with a piece like this on your arm, everyone will know exactly who to ask for money. Most expensive gold chrome Bugatti Veyron flow riders Bugatti Veyron $2.7 million. Obviously, this entry is a little bit narrower, but I just had to talk about this car and you simply cannot blame me. 
This shiny custom Bugatti Veyron is owned by rapper Flo Rida. It started out its life as a relatively ordinary but still very sick pearlescent white Bugatti, but Flo Rida eventually realized what most rich people do. What effects but gold and one chrome finish later this car was born. The gold finish might make you want to steal this Bugatti but it's 1200 horsepower, 255 miles per hour top speed and its ability to go from 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds means you're probably gonna be outrunning the cops as well.